So Gemini from Lee Vampire, you pulled witness to know personal evidence and to speak out. And then from Chakra Wisdom, you pulled perseverance. Now witness from Lee Vampire is saying that the veils of illusion and deceit have lifted. While this can be painful, it's also a great blessing to know the truth. Do not doubt your experience. And then working with this card talks about never lying to yourself again. Accept the evidence of your experience and honor it within your heart and within your words when wisdom demands you speak freely. And then when you look at that with perseverance, I think some of you are becoming a witness to the fact that maybe some of the things that you're working for aren't really showing up in your life just yet. But perseverance is definitely saying not to give up. The very first quote for this card says, don't quit before the miracle. The inspiration says, when we do our chosen work, we are serving the highest order. If we stop, we upset the universal balance. What you work toward will materialize. You may not see it, but it lies ahead. The personal question says, can I ignore the feelings that would sidetrack me? Will I let go of fear and persevere? The key ideas are breaking through, unseen help at work, feeling taken for granted and overcoming doubts. And I think for a lot of you, you're being more active in your own experience. It's just that you need to be careful about giving up on the things that you want. You may not see it happening just yet, but it is there. All right, Gemini. Here is the energy coming through. The Six of Wands, very nice. Victory, victory over adversity. And being recognized and applauded for a job well done. I definitely do think that perseverance is saying don't give up. Don't ever give up on the things that you're wanting. Because seeing victory here is fantastic. And in the past, the Six of Pentacles. Look at the Sixes. I think a lot of you is, are starting to see a little bit more stability in your life and in the things that you're working toward. The Six of Pentacles is about the give and take, the giving and receiving, and having that even balance. And then the other thing too is when you're looking at perseverance very much with the Six of Pentacles, it's important to remember that you will only get out of something what you put into it. But I see a lot of you receiving some really good recognition. And victory, victory, I love it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, in the present, the sun. So you're going to be just fine and that's beautiful to see. This energy is absolutely fantastic and I think now you're starting to receive a little bit more of this abundant feeling of happiness and satisfaction in your life. Seeing the sun as present conditions is definitely suggesting that you're enjoying your time in the sun right now. Beautiful energy, beautiful energy. Oh, future conditions. The Ten of Swords. So here's the thing. If you're working towards something here and you're not seeing it manifest just yet, I think that for a lot of you, it may feel like a really painful ending. For some of you, you may be dealing with some painful situations in future conditions. But when I look at the Ten of Swords, I think of the ending of pain. But the other thing, too, is it's really important for you to let go of that. Sometimes it can be really hard to take our focus off of the things that have ended in such difficult ways, because I do see the Ten of Swords as a very difficult ending to something. But again, it is the ending of pain. You know, you're being released from this now. And seeing the Six of Wands in the sun, I, again, I think you're going to be just fine. But I think for some of you, there really just needs to be an ending of pain for you to be able to move forward. Yo, your best path to follow. I'm telling you, Gemini, you need to be careful about your thoughts right now. Looking at the Nine of Swords as your best path to follow is saying that spirit recognizes that maybe some of you are doing some harmful thinking. There's a need to recognize this, understand it, and it needs to be done with. It needs to be done with. I think that that's what you're working on here in future conditions. When you start to have that happiness in your life with the sun and then you have this fantastic energy of the Six of Wands, I think that a lot of you need to put in some time and effort here into dealing with the painful things that clearly need to be looked at here. The Nine of Swords is suggesting that your, your thinking is going in a negative way and it could be surrounding a really painful ending that some of you may have to deal with. But I think maybe with the sun showing up, I, 
I kind of get the feeling that it may not be as bad as you may think. And then on the other hand, I do think for some of you that this is something that needs to be over and done with. And especially with, you know, the harmful thinking that is going on here. In your environment, the world, yeah, these things are completing themselves big time, Gemini. I'm telling you, in future conditions, you're going to have to deal with the acceptance that painful things are over with for you. You have to be careful where your thoughts are leading you, but I'm telling you the world and the sun is beautiful, beautiful energy and you will have victory over these difficulties here. The world is saying successful completion. This is feeling accomplished and there is a new cycle that will be happening for some of you. But I do like the energy of the world. It's, it's beautiful, especially paired with the sun, seeing that. In present conditions and what is in your environment is beautiful. I just think that there are going to be some difficult things that you're going to have to deal with in future conditions. But I think it's going to be a situation where once you have recognized, <clears throat> you'll have to forgive me. I'm telling you, communication has been an issue for me at the last part of these readings. It's been ridiculous. I do think that when it comes to the way that you're thinking, around this ending that you're going to be experiencing, things are going to be completing themselves in a way that they need to complete. Like this has to happen for you. In order for you to experience joy and to feel that sense of victory, but I think a lot of you are going to get victory over this. Your hopes and your fears, the Five of Pentacles. I think for some of you, I don't really see this as, you know, some financial loss. You may be definitely dealing with some financial struggles, but I don't think that it's as bad as it could be, not with the sun sitting there. But then the, the other thing too, with the five of pentacles, it could definitely be a situation where some of you are feeling left out or somebody else is feeling rejected. You know, I would... I would say that for some of you, it's going to be what you're feeling, right? And I think for a lot of you, it's, you know, fearing having to go through difficult situations again. But, you know, with the Five of Pentacles, very much there's this energy of being able to get yourself out of these situations and perseverance, right? Being able to, you know, continue to go through and continue to work for the things that you're wanting, right? Even through difficult times. Because I do think that some of you may be facing some difficulties, but you know, again, the world, these things are going to be completing themselves in a good way and for <clears throat> your own good. I really do think that these things have to happen for there to be, you know, this lasting feeling here. <clears throat> you have to forgive me guys. My goodness. And then the outcome, Gemini, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, cycles are ending for you. You're going to have victory over this. But seeing the Ten of Wands, you have to be careful about getting overwhelmed. It's like you have happiness, but then at the same time, there are things that are going on mentally with you that need to end. They have to end. And they will. It's just you need to be careful where your thoughts are leading you because when you look at the Ten of Wands, it's saying that you're going to be so overwhelmed with the way that you're thinking. And I'm hoping here that, you know, things start to really balance out for you where there's a little bit more of an even flow going on when these things start to fully complete themselves. All right, Gemini, we're going to take a look at the soul trees to see what other messages there are for you guys. But I do think that you're looking at successful completions. I just think that perseverance is saying that a lot of you aren't seeing this right now. You know, witness is saying that you're becoming a little bit more of a witness to what is happening in your life. But there needs to be recognition when it comes to the way that you're thinking, especially if you're dealing with some difficult endings. But again, you have that feeling of victory allow allow things to happen i'm telling you you have to allow this to happen because it's going to be a situation where you know things are going to be a little bit better for you i just think that some of you may not be wanting to deal with these difficult endings and they may be really overwhelming for you but i'm telling you there is a feeling here that this is happening for a reason 
Oh, the crown chakra. Oh, Gemini. I don't think I've ever seen this one pulled. The crown chakra. <clears throat> Looking at the seventh chakra. This is the communication that you are getting from spirit. And the only thing that ever blocks this is your attachment to your ego. When you set aside your ego, you're more open to the communications that are coming in through spirit. These things have to happen. You need to be open to what spirit is trying to tell you. Because if you cling on to painful endings and how overwhelming they are, you may be missing where spirit is trying to guide you. Because I do think that these things are, they have to happen. They have to happen. Wow. An intention. Setting your intention when it comes to the things that you're wanting to manifest. What is your intention? What are you truly wanting to see in life? My goodness. Seeing the crown chakra and seeing allow, I think spirit is saying that, you know, you need to allow that guidance and that protection to start surrounding you right now. And that is what's going to help you to start setting some better intentions when it comes to, you know, what is it that you're truly going after, especially with perseverance? Wow, Gemini. Wow. All right. We're going to take a look at whispers of love to see what is going on for you guys in terms of love. But I'm just, I'm stunned. I'm blown away by that. I don't think I've ever seen that one pulled. And that's, that's significant. That to me is one of the shockers when they show up. This is important. The information that's being come that's coming into you from spirit is so important right now. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. That's one of the big things too when it comes to, you know, attracting relationships when you're talking about the law of attraction. And I've said this before when this card shows up. For those of you who are single and you're wanting a meaningful relationship. It is so important to act like you already have it because that is what starts to shift the universe and those things start to show up for you. Make room in your bed, make room in your closet, do those kinds of things and act as if you already have a partner and that is what will attract the right one to you. The other thing is too, for those of you who may feel like you're single right now, it may be because there is a separation from your partner. And I don't see this as a bad thing. I don't see this as long-term or temporary. I just think that maybe some of you are seeing yourself as single because your partner just isn't there right now. But definitely very important to act like you already have a partner. Spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. And then you also pull love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. And I think that's important for the couples to hear. You know, and spending time with your partner may be a welcome distraction to the things that may be ending in like really overwhelming ways, you know. But I do think that, man, this reading, something is happening for a reason. I think Spirit is trying to warn you that your thoughts may lead you astray. But what is happening right now, I think, is meant to be for some of you, especially with the world showing up. But definitely, definitely pay attention to what is coming in from Source, because I think it's going to be so important for you guys this week. All right, Gemini, this reading just got, you know, bumped up to big time importance for some of you, because this is one of those cards that does not show up unless it absolutely has to. When it comes to the lower chakras, these are, you know, usually chakras that are getting a lot of energy or that may be having a block. But seeing a Lao next to this, I'm telling you, whatever is happening for you this week, whatever is coming through is going to be of major importance. It is so important for you to be open to receiving the information that is coming in from Source because it's it is going to be so important, so important. And I think it, whatever does come through is going to help you with setting your intentions here so that you aren't feeling like giving up on the things that you want. Because again, perseverance also talks about support coming through. And I think some of you are becoming a witness to this. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. You're becoming more of a witness to the experiences that you're having, but you are having direct experiences with source right now. It's, it just, it blows me away. Like 
Whatever is going on with you guys by the end of this week, please comment and tell me, tell me what is going on because I do think that you are receiving very important information. Again, with the sun, I do think that spirit is protecting you right now and there is a reason and I think for a lot of you it's because that there is going to be this really difficult ending and your thoughts are going to be somewhere that maybe is going to, you know, lead you astray make you feel bad, make you feel regret. And I think spirit is saying that no, that isn't the case, that these things have to happen in order for things to open up for Gemini this week. I think you are done dealing with external. You're done with dealing with untruthful communications. The communication you're going to be doing now is going to be by far more important than dealing with people who may be lying to you or whatever. I do think that some of you, you know, I worry here that because of what is happening and where your thoughts are going, you may feel like left out, right? And then not feeling connected to the source because it seems like everything is great, but then all of a sudden these, you know, difficult things are happening and it makes sense that you would feel rejected or cast aside, right? But I don't think that that's the case. And I do think that spirit is warning you that your thoughts are going to go somewhere else because of this. But I do think that this is happening for a reason. You're looking at major endings here. Major, major endings. You're not going to have to go through pain. It's going to be, you know, one of those situations where I think you're going to think that it's more painful than what it really is. And I think that you're going to get, you know, this sense of victory over this because these things are going to be successfully completing themselves. But you need to be careful about getting overwhelmed, especially with where your thoughts are going. It's so important, so important. This reading it just, it, you know, at first it was like, well, what the hell? You know, the sun is here. Everything should be just fine. Why is this happening? Well, it's because it's it's happening for a reason. It's, spirit is stepping in. The divine is major putting a hand in this. Like, I, I can't stress to you enough the importance that I'm feeling around this reading. Now, for those of you who are single in terms of love, this is so important when it comes to wanting to have a relationship. You have to act like you already have it. You know, and for some people, it feels kind of silly to pretend like there's a partner laying next to you or to pretend that they're hanging their clothes in your closet. But I'm telling you, those actions are going to start to attract that partner into your life because you're acting like, well, they're already here, right? Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, spend quality time together and love endures. It's so important, especially for those of you who are happy in a relationship and you're dealing with these major difficulties. If you start spending time with your partner, I think it will help ease the mental thinking that may be going on. And I do think that it's important for you to know that, you know, that love that you have is going to endure through these difficult situations. But man, Gemini, I'm telling you, whatever communication is coming in through spirit or from source right now, by the end of this week, I think you're going to feel a little overwhelmed by what's happening, but I think things are going to start to alleviate, especially with the Six of Wands being here. But please let me know. Please let me know. I want to know what's happening with Gemini. I love you guys, and I think it's awesome that spirit is trying to make a direct connection with some of you right now.